now here right in the short description field you want to populate the current logged in user information in the short description so you want to populate the in the caller you want to populate the current logged in user here you want to populate the current logged in user information so here in the short description field so what you will do you will go to the client script you'll just open this one g underscore form dot set value so which field value we are setting which field um, value short description we have to take the name of the short description field u underscore short description comma so what is the value that you want to populate current logged in user details right so here i have to make current logged in user details here so i am taking a variable here where details is equal to so current logged in users how do you get the current logged in users g underscore user dot first name so new line so new line is actually slash n is actually new line details plus is equal to so you are actually appending the string for the first name you are actually appending the last name so appending means you are actually adding extra content last name plus slash n So these details you are actually populating here. So this will only work on the new record. Here I have specified if it is new record, populate the current caller as current logged in user, and in the short description, populate the current logged in user details. So now if you open the new form, right? If you open the new form, so it will actually populate the caller as current logged in user. In the short description, caller details are getting populated or not. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So to get the current logged in user details, what did we take here? G underscore user or not? Okay, yeah. to set, set the values, we have used g underscore form dot set value or not. And if, if I open this existing record, so if I open any existing record, so it will not actually populate the current logged in user name and details over the short description and color field. Is it populating? No. It is only and populating, it is only edit. populating on the new record. Sorry, guys. Hello. Uh, could you please change the caller ID to, I mean, manually, could you please change the caller ID with it? What will happen? So if you change the caller ID to someone else, able to turn. And update, yeah. Even if you update also, nothing will happen. If it is an existing record, right? Okay. So only on the new record, only when you open the new form, See, when you open the new form, the form will be re re reloaded, right? So during the form reload, the onload client script will run and it will check. So whether it is new record or not, if it is new record, it will populate the current logged in user details. And in the short description, it will populate uh, first name, last name, email address, uh, sorry, uh, full name. Is that clear? Yes. Sir. So here we have written the logic for new record. Yes. Uh, and it should populate the current logged in user in the caller field and the current logged in user details in the short description field. That is the logic that we have actually designed here. Only on the form load. Okay. okay.